Hey YouTube, welcome back to Intuition. Today's video is a collaboration with Quackery Podcast. If you're not familiar with this podcast, this is the podcast that was founded by a good friend of mine, Will the Pill. Quackery Podcast is a podcast that is dedicated to exposing fake medicine, uh, but it's done in a very tasteful, relaxed, and funny style. So if you just want to kick back, you know, have a drink, and uh, get some get some information about fake medicine and fake therapy you should definitely check them out and in fact uh, will is actually a pharmacist as well so he's very knowledgeable on a lot of topics about uh, therapeutics and medication so i highly recommend that you check them out if you're interested in doing so you can check them out at quackerypodcast.com this week's topic on quackery podcast will be magnetic bracelets and magnetism so they wanted me to do a video on magnets and magnetism so if you're interested in learning how magnets work, stay tuned. All right. So the style on this channel is to learn through answering questions. So today we're going to answer two questions on magnets and hopefully it will give you some insight as to how magnets uh, work. So let's dive into it. Question number one. Question number one states, a long solenoid has 1800 turns per meter, carrying a current of two amps. What is the magnetic intensity, H, inside the solenoid? Okay, so before we answer this question, we need to know what's going on. Most people are familiar with magnets. You know, we've all played with magnets before. It's not an unfamiliar phenomenon, but uh, I doubt that many people actually understand how magnets work. The first insight into how magnets work was discovered by a Dutch physicist by the name of Hans Oersted. By accident, he placed his compass needle near an electrical wire where electricity was being run through that wire and he noticed that the needle began to shift. So because of that phenomenon, he was able to link that an electrical current and a magnet actually have a very close relationship. An electrical current is able to develop a magnetic field. So it was later demonstrated that magnetism is simply a phenomenon that comes about by electricity. And what is electricity? Electricity is the movement of charge. So whenever you have charge that's moving, whether it's an electron or a proton, it creates a magnetic field. When you see magnets and you see electricity, you think they're two different things, but really they're, they're two different sides of the same coin. So in this question, we have a solenoid. And a solenoid is basically just a cylinder with a bunch of electrical wire uh, wrapped around it and then you pass electricity through this wire when you have electricity when you have the movement of charge you develop a magnetic field when, when you have electricity going around and around in a circle around a cylinder you develop a uniform magnetic field within the cylinder so in this question we're told that we have 18 turns of electrical wire around the solenoid and the current passing through the wire is two amps so we want to know what is the magnetic intensity that is inside of this solenoid which is basically like an mri machine what's the magnetic intensity in there well magnetic intensity is very easy to calculate for a solenoid magnetic intensity will be equal to the number of turns times the current that's it All right so you have 1800 turns per meter and the current is two amps so you just multiply 1800 times two and you get 3600 so the answer will be 3600 amps per meter and that is the magnetic intensity that is inside of this solenoid or mri machine so from this question we just learned that when you have a current moving around in the circle around the solenoid you de it develops a uniform magnetic field within the solenoid and we just multiply the current passing through the wire times the number of turns per meter and that's magnetic intensity okay so let's move on to question number two question number two states question number two states an mri machine has a magnetic intensity of 1.6 million amps per meter which results in a magnetic field of 2.01062 tesla when the machine is empty what is the approximate change in the magnetic field when a person is placed inside the machine Hint, the magnetic susceptibility of water is chi equals negative 0.9 times 10 to the negative five in SI units. Okay, 
So to get the change in the magnetic field, we just need to do the final magnetic field when the body is placed inside the machine and we subtract away the initial magnetic field when the machine was empty. So remember that the, the magnetic intensity is the ability of the machine to magnetize an object. The magnetic field that results within the machine is dependent on the object that is placed within the machine. So when the machine is empty, it's just a vacuum, so we need to know what is the magnetic susceptibility of a vacuum. This comes from empirical calculation. The magnetic susceptibility of a vacuum is 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7. Okay, so if we multiply 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 times the magnetic intensity of 1.6 million, we get 2.01062 Tesla, right? So that, that's where that comes from. Now, when we put a human being within the machine, the magnetic susceptibility of the human body is going to be the magnetic susceptibility of water because the human body is made up of mostly water. So we do have some iron and some other magnetic atoms within the body, but there's so few of them and they're so diluted that they're not going to be able to truly respond to a magnetic field in any way that's going to be detectable. We're mostly water and water is magnetic. It's not very magnetic, right? It's 0.9 times 10 to the negative five, but it's somewhat magnetic is going to respond to a magnetic field and there are enough water molecules within our body that we will actually get a signal that we can detect and turn into an image. To get the magnetic field within the MRI machine when a body is placed within it, we just need to multiply the magnetic intensity times the magnetic susceptibility of water. So to get the magnetic field within the machine when a body is placed is going to be equal to four pi times 10 to the negative seven times one minus 0 0.9 times 10 to the negative five, which would be the magnetic susceptibility times the magnetic intensity of 1.6 million. And then we're going to subtract away 2.01062, which was the initial magnetic field within the machine when, when it was just a vacuum. And what is the difference? Well, when we plug this into our calculator, we get a difference of negative 1.8 times 10 to the negative five Tesla and our answer is B, easy. So that tells you the human body is not a very magnetic object, but if you apply an intense magnetic field, in the case of an MRI machine of two Tesla, which is a, a huge magnetic field, you can actually magnetize the body enough to get a small magnetic field, and you can actually use that, that change in magnetic field to create an image and to be able to diagnose a patient with certain uh, diseases and so forth. All right, so I hope that was helpful. I hope that you guys learned something from this video. Uh, continue to watch. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Uh, give us a like and uh, leave a comment. All right, bye-bye.